Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we're going to make shepherd's pie. I love shepherd's pie and something I learned was if you use lamb in your shepherd's pie, it's actually called shepherd's pie. If you use ground beef, which is actually what I'm going to be using, then it's actually called cottage pie. So this is my version of cottage pie. All right, let's get started. First, we're going to be sauteing our onions, our carrots, our carrot, and our celery. So let's get that all cut up here. And the recipe that I'm using, and I'll put in the description box down below, does not require a pie crust. However, I love pie crust. So ours is going to be going into a pie crust, and I will put the recipe in the link below for that as well. All right. There's the onions. I'm just going to dice the celery here so we don't have real big pieces of it. Okay. I usually use my other knife, but I chose to use this one today. I kind of like the other one better, actually. It's easier to cut faster with. All right, let's go get these going. And we're gonna saute them. And once they're crisp tender, then we will add our hamburger. <laughs> To saute your vegetables, you can use all olive oil, you can use a combination of oils. I like to put butter in it, um, along with the olive oil, give a little extra flavor. All right, we're just gonna let these sit here for oh, probably about 10 minutes or so, and saute. All right. Looks like that's ready. Let's go ahead and add our ground beef here. Just gonna break it up here. All right, we're just gonna cook this till the hamburger's done, and then we're gonna spoon off any of the liquid. We're gonna spoon off excess fat. All right, I'm just gonna spoon a tablespoon of flour onto there. Get that all stirred in. Kind of get that raw flour taste out of there. So about five minutes is all. And the flour is also gonna help it to be thickened once we add the three quarters cup of chicken broth. You can also add beef broth if you would prefer. I have chicken broth today. We're going to add three quarters cup of chicken broth. Don't get it mixed up with your um, excess fat that you've just taken off of there. <laughs> We're also going to add one and a half teaspoons of rosemary and one and a half teaspoons of thyme. And I've got my seeds planted, so hopefully I will be having fresh rosemary and thyme within a couple weeks. I'm very excited about that, actually. And then also just a pinch of nutmeg. Not too much. Nutmeg can overpower things very quickly. 
And then salt. I don't want it too salty. Oh, that looks good. Okay, our gravy has thickened, or our sauce has thickened. Let's go ahead and go put it on into our pie plate. And then we're going to put mashed potatoes on the top, and those are ready to go also. And we're just going to spoon this into the pipe crust there. Ooh, that looks really good. Doesn't that look delicious? It smells really good. Let's put our mashed potatoes on top. For the mashed potatoes, I used six regular sized potatoes. I think they'd be probably called mediums. And then I added sour cream and butter to them and then parsley. So that's the green flakes you're seeing. You can do anything you want with the potatoes. Um, maybe there's something different that you would prefer in them. That's just what I chose to use. And they might spread easier if they're a little thinner, so you might want to keep that in mind also if you want to thin them out a little bit. I didn't use any milk or broth or anything in them, but that would be an option as well. All right, so don't be skimpy on those potatoes. Nothing better than hamburger and veggies with potatoes. Okay, I think that we are ready to put it in the oven. And the oven has been preheating to 400, and it's now going to bake until the potatoes are brown on top and the crust is done. So that's going to be about 30 to 35 minutes. Okay, this is done. Let's go ahead and take it out. And it was starting to go over on the sides, and so I had to put a pan under my pie plate here. Oh, this looks really good. Let's put a little dab of butter on that while we let it sit and cool for just a few minutes before we cut into it. I'm just going to let it sit and cool for just a few minutes, let it set up, and then we'll, we'll cut into it. looks delicious. Oh, yum. All right, let's taste this and see what we think. Mmm, that is really good. I love that it has a crust on it. But again, you don't have to put a crust, but I do like that part. I just love potatoes and ground beef together, and then the vegetables in there has really good flavor, and I like that it didn't run all over the plate also. It stayed in a pie shape. All right, well, thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope you have a chance to make this, and the recipe will be in the description box below. Thank you so much.